Hello, buddies. Today I have to sketch these two pages from the, the graphic novel. Uh, I wanted to share with you the, the process. I'm going to use this pen for sketching. And uh, let me see if I can show you a little bit more with the camera. Oh, OK. More separation. There. There we are. OK. What is happening in this scene is basically I will just tell you about the this scene and how I, I need to lay it out and the the thinking process of sketching the the scene. First of all, I need some clips that I have here. To avoid the there it is. Well, in this scene, there is uh, one of the characters that is just dropping up the sky. A followed by a demon. Um, he's falling between an upcoming battle um, between two armies, one of Templars and versus one of a Saracen army. He's kind of on a dream, on a dream of a Templar, and he's followed by a dream demon. So he has his wings. He has like angel wings on fire. And he just entered into a random dream and um, he drops into the, the combat zone. And the Templars uh, kind of um, rescue him and attack the, the demon. And then I, I left this, this panel as the scene uh, uh, the last panel of the scene as a conclusion of that scene. So said that I have an idea of how I want to exploit the page. The first thing I'm, I'm looking at the page is looking at the page as a 3D page. So what I'm thinking is I will need some something that is coming this way. Don't be shy. You, you, you can, when you draw, you can put some expression line to know how you want to explore it. So I want the, the reader attention to be focused here. But the, the problem is that this page will be really like this. You know, it will be like a comic book page. So it's a, it's a splash page, something that going this way so I cannot put a uh, um, very very important large image here if it's not large and uh, the character is going down and here we have a horse maybe you can see it it's like this little sketch for me is enough for knowing what I have to put there. It's just a horse that is with a, a knight here charging. And uh, I would like to put here another horse like that, you know, same horse, something like here. So gives a sense of action. I 
I draw these lines to set up a limit here. So before drawing, what I'm thinking of is how I'm gonna exploit this page, the communication, etc. And here in this panel, I I wanted to show the Templar charging the demon. So this one goes in this sense, like this. The eye of the reader comes from here. I will guide the, the eye like this way. So here maybe is the point of view of the of the knight, the Templar knight, maybe it's the head of the horse, and uh, his hand, something will be like, like this, like he's going this way. And uh, so this one will be like one, okay? Then it will be like two, goes like this, the eye then go there, and then I want the eye to go here, and finally go here. So maybe I can have an extra panel where here. Maybe I can have here an extra panel. I will think about it. I don't know yet. Uh, this is the main like the horse, I want the horse like, just like with going with his legs, like moving on. I want here to have the, the Templar lance. So this will be a very demanding scene, very running draw, would be fun to do it. And, uh, I should have somehow the demon, maybe. So as you can see, if I put here the, the Templar charging, I will need more space in this scene. So this one is just out of scale. So I will try to draw all this scene just in this space like this, right here. Maybe the head of the Templar will something like this, bang, charging it with the lens here, this way. And the uh, demon hands will be like, uh, this was the, the previous drawing, the previous sketch that I made. This was a 10 second sketch. Now I'm just working with the lines that I want to to exploit in the drawing. So this one is the, the one that is the closer to the reader. And so here I can put a hand, of a, something that gives the sensation, guides the, the reader's eyes to this place. And here I have to create some movement like this. So I always start with movement lines. All right, this is the demon. This is the shape that I want the demon to have. So from here you can rework it. Maybe here we have the, the head, torso, torso, arms, 
that pro he's propelled backward and his demon wings will become something like here, like that. So this shape will help me introduce the the final panel. This panel, as um as we are working in this sense, this sense, this sense, this panel maybe will be like going in this sense, like in with a perspective point like this, maybe lower, even lower, like this. Um, some figures maybe from the top of the main character, this one. So now maybe I'm thinking here that I could put the like a one, two, three in the sense of um, main character would be like a I will put the, the main character here. We have to move it. For her here. So I can place more than one. Horse. The perspective point, punto de fuga, will be like uh, move it here, here. This panel, I can use it with the can move forward with this one because this space I will not exploit it too much so I can put here the the other horse uh, charging also with the, the legs so it'll be a very striking image from the And it's like a horse that you are looking from below. So it will be like a, you have to look this, this horse. Very yeah, difficult go to make this one. This one would be like more like here. I'm looking below. Now I have here this space that I need to exploit a lot. This one. So I will compress this even more. Even more. We are setting up the page in this case. We are not drawing. We are just setting up the page, setting up the, the space, exploring the space, which is the most important thing when you are doing graphic novel. It's part of the storytelling. And I want to show this case in particular because it's a very demanding page. 
and uh, maybe here we have a like a horse leg. Just looking from below, something like that. You can do the details later. You can have reference, etc. And uh, here I want to have the the point of view of the the demon. And in the backward here, in this place, I will put the main character that was falling down. Now he must be here watching the whole scene. So he's here. We we'll use this one. He's here on his knees, maybe like of the size. Always better to make it not so large. Okay, and uh, even this is. Put here, maybe, yeah, slower, slower in the okay. I'm gonna put it here. We it will be here, right? We're here, and uh, the demon that was going to attack him was the, the night are between the character and the demon. So, the demon is here, will be receiving the, the impact. So I have all this panel here to draw that. Okay. It can be from the now we need to work with the, the midline, all right? So if I put them on this place. I have already the demon here, you see? In the other picture, the Knight Templar is charging this way in the this panel, this uh, angle view. So I need to create a movement from here to here, like this. The, the page must be exploited like this, and then this, it will be we are moving like this. And you will have space in this place. So I need to put the demon here. Of course, I, I'm just having an image of an arm, of an arm, a helpless arm of the, the demon, like maybe here. I will just put it like a, a reference, like an. This demon had four fingers, like if they were like this. So they don't have fingers, hands like us, not like this. They have four fingers, stronger fingers, and with two pencil fingers. So it will be like this, it will be here. Um, this here, I will. I can have the the wing, one of the wings. So these parts may be fixed. Some part, it's a solution there. I can move this one even more this place, uh, and uh, the head of the demon. I want to have it here. 
like watching the Templar, that the Knight Templar, that will have his his look up to the. Sorry, I don't know if you're seeing this. To the demon is here. So now we can start. Now that we already know. And here will be the outcome, okay? The outcome of the scene. Maybe this outcome could be like uh, uh, the this character is here, it will appear here, right? So this triangle, you will have it like this. So you have a written tick tick, you have uh, what is happening, like opening an action, what is happening, the char character main here. The other guy is following this one. They charge up, confrontation. The character is watching. This will help us with the, when you're watching this in this profonder, it will make the, the knights to pop up on the page. And the perspective will be helped by the, the, the folding of the page. And uh, there will be a card, uh, the action, the demon stabbed by the knight, and then the outcome with the rhythm of this one, looking the, the scene, and we can have here the, the horses, the horses that are just going this way with uh, etc. We can have the horses like going this way or even you can put here like uh, the demon star it, something like that on the on the night templars going out you can have here the the main character watching what is happening so right now we are we have an idea of what we want to do on the page so the next the next phase of the drawing is just do the volumes, do the pointers of view of the, and put in the, the sizing, the volume, the characters. So it's the strong, big horse head here, All right? Up. And here we have the demon. So we know we can start building volumes for the torso. I will not go in details because I'm pretty sure I'm going to start moving things. But uh, in this process, it's, I like to put uh, some some volumes. So we have here the the arms, right? Go this size. Fingers here, right? The wings come from here, so maybe they will be like uh, more retract or not. I want to draw the the horse legs around here, horse legs around here, yeah, horse leg here, a larger horse. We have another Templar here, working, maybe with a lance going this way, another one. We have pretty sure here, uh, 
a large, large shield, large Templar shield right here. So the cross, something like that. Yeah. So and now you can see that this panel is like supporting this figure that is already already going this way so this is the neck we can keep up doing the, the arm here and uh, the original hand we draw here was much larger than the one we are doing here so we can remove it okay perfect Like this and uh, we can work with horse leg with the like this place uh, all right pretty sure we're gonna have some more horses charging in the, the line of the background that will be the background and I'll work later on okay so and the wing the demon wing will be like uh, maybe this way so will not be here. Allowing us to give more expression to this line. Right? It's like this leg is up, this leg will go down. So we have, we have the horse is coming this way. All right. Fun, fun. We have the the wing here. Of course, I will have to look a lot of reference because <laughs> um, I have to draw this Templar Knight. I will be looking at some details. In this case, this Templar will have his shield, this place. And so this one will have its lance. Let's go this way. Uh, this one we have is lens on this way. So I like those lenses to go from this point to the the center of the page here, like like this. So I can work this thing. And I have to be careful of not hiding this the main character, so that's why I need to put the lens on the maybe up here, and this character will be maybe leaning more to the right. Yeah, this one will be more here, right? He's on the, the horse and he will be like watching this place. So that way I will have a uh, space here. I will have some space here, as you can see. I will have some 
it's a pretty nice space. Like if it was a panel, it's like a hidden, hidden panel here, hidden panel here, this one, where we put the the main character watching from the rear. How the Templar Knight are like protecting him. Okay, so here we have the the wing. So the backward of the wing, it will be just hiding, of course, this part of the of the horse. But it's no problem because here will be the other. Scene, which is the the horse and the Templar Knight charging from here. So we have the the horse here, the horse head here. I want also that horse head coming from this point. I want that the focal point will be here. Boom. The knight will be like charging here, something like that. All right, with the uh, and as you can see, the one that is is, is in his right hand. So it's this one, not this one. It's this one that is taking up the demon. So. The demon will be like here with its hands, hands, helpless hands this way. It will be his torso, something like that. Torso, legs, and can even do some perspective here. Can can even make some space like this. So I will see what happens there. So I know that here we have a, a Templar charging with with uh, the horse. Wow, maybe the, the head of the horse will be more like uh, here, more. Yeah, this way, charging. And the leg of the demon will be more like here. You see, we are building a space here. We are working in 3D. We are working with space. We are not drawing yet. We are just putting things there. All right, it's another hand, maybe. A wing, another wing from here. So, we kind of have the, so you can move the camera so you can see this better. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now the now when you have already done this, you have to look your page again and and see something that is uh, that uh, you have a. Uh, Two main figures, it would be like one plane goes this way. Then you have this figure, it's another plane, and then you have these figures that will be next to your next to the reader. So this one maybe will be larger, I don't know. 
Then you start to see that you have here some rounded figures at the heads, some rounded figure here, some rounded here, and you have some rounded figure here. Of course, you will place, you will try to place the head of this rounded figure here. You see, because it's one, two, three. And also, you have some rounded figure here because it, the pommel of the um, the lance. So we have one, two, three, and you have another rounded figure here. It's one, two, three, but you have the the head horse. And here you have another rounded figure. The, the other the, the head horse from below. So you have one, two, three, and you are exploiting the diagonals of the page. You are also exploiting these lines. So. It'll be a very dynamic page, this one. Um, you can decide here where you want to put the the wing. This wing, we're gonna put it like this, so it's not. Looking any kind of uh, action, this is a, a demon wing. We see how the hair is a demon wing. <laughs> Had to figure out that. Maybe that demon wing, uh, if the thing is popping up, this demon wing will be like popping up too. So it will be like maybe like this. I don't know. Going this way. Maybe going this way. Right. It's like open this way. And that's like one, two. So it has a, like one, you can do like one, and this one is like maybe forward and going downward that, that way. So what would I start to begin to draw first once I have the, the page kind of set up? Well, of course, the more fun fun thing to draw is the the horses. <laughs> so we're gonna have a you know, one. One horse head will be like I want to make the horse neck will give me the, the size of everything. So this horse must be like here. As you can see, I'm trying to put it like in, I'm just drawing from memory. Um, I have no any reference here. So just imagine that, that horse, I didn't draw too many horses yet. But uh, that's what I what I want. Um, so here we have another horse nose from here. That will be like uh, working this this way, right? So. This could be like a, maybe a shape, of course. I don't know. The, these are the, the horse ears and the, be the Templar. Have to put the, the Templar. Head can be like protecting from below. The the shield will be like here, right? So on the horse. I have a one panel here like this. Uh, one panel here, okay. And we have this one. This 
Oke. Okay. Templar head that will be like here. All right. So Okay, perfect. So here we have the main character with the angel wings burning and going down. And the demon that's coming to catch him. So demon wings will be like more like this. All right, here. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. The the horse be like there, here, and the shield will be more like here, going on the here. I want to have the the Templar hands picking up the the horse. I don't know how you say that in English. The rope that you use for guiding the horse. Riendas. Okay, this way. So it's kind of a both point of view. Uh, here is where the the shadow where the unit is going down, and this one is going this way. Okay, so we have this. <laughs> Okay, so now we have to start building, building the, this demon have a, like a cone head. So now I can take out this page and start working on this, this horse. I can work with some references. I'm looking for some reference image of Templar Knight horses. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So So working this thing. So this guy uses his horses with some kind of cloth above the the horse head, like covering his eyes. So white, and even some of them they put some Christian cross here that I think would be very nice to have. On the drawing, red cross here, yeah. and um, it will be like the the horse head, horse eye here, yeah. right, and uh, oh, I need to put some. Okay, 
Okay. So. This is the horse to mouth. We have also a reference of a horse <laughs> mouse. some horse head details. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one. Mm, I'm just looking for some horse heads references. Okay. Just to see the volumes. Mm hmm All right. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So, to understand the, the volumetry of the of a horse, it's a long time that I'm not drawing a horse, so there's a lot of information I'm missing, but uh, then we can give some expression to the horse. And uh, this you'd have here, The Let's give some some movement to this thing. All right. So a horse is more more or less something like that, and. Let's see the horse eye, how the head is a horse eye. Okay, it has some, something like that. It's maybe human eye, but uh, more popping out from the socket. Okay. This thing goes here. And then, of course, this is a very large size like this. Okay. So uh, the next come from this point onward. Okay. Um, the the horse ear is something like pointed. Like this, okay. It could be like, like that. Okay, that would be our first approach to the Let me see the camera. To a horse, horse head. <laughs> okay, so. Now we we need to keep adding how the a Knight Templar shield was. 
I want to be accurate. So, uh, okay. So I suppose that the Nate Templar was like holding the the horse with the hand that carried the shield, and that shield will be mostly carried on the elbow, so it has his hand free, and uh, okay, the shield is like. Uh, It always goes kind of like moving forward, something like that. So the shield will be like here. We'll place a shield like here with the cross. So right now this is more or less like a sculpture. You are drawing in 2D, but you have to think that you are drawing 3D. So you don't have to think too much about perspective. So you know that the, you are building like volumes. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Templar helmet. I'm gonna put it like the Templar helmet is something like that. I'm gonna see if the, the size is kind of correct within the size of the so it's also like a cross. So it was like a bunch of crosses of Christian crosses hitting you like <laughs> I guess so here will be the the Templar helmet. It's kind of something like that, All right? And I guess that will be like riding the at the end of the the horse neck will be obviously uh, all that uh, okay this dude carry like a monk dress on the okay what I'm drawing I'm looking at references right so okay this one is nice okay mm -hmm. All right, so we have this. The horse have like a cover, cover thing here with some stitches. Maybe like there. All this. Uh, he's covering his face and neck completely. So we have some some plies here. 
through this way. Um, from here, some of these dudes had another cross. So another red cross come here. And the uh, that way. Uh, the Templar we have here the, the saddle this way and his uh, knee should be like around here. So around here should be the Templar knee. Okay. Uh, if the guy is charging, he must be using the the lens from. Um, Yeah, he should be like using the lens here. With his elbow and here. Um, the lens is going here, this way. So. He's charging, like crossing. Uh, this lance will just pop out from the demon body this way. Okay. Give me more space. Yeah. Okay. So. There we go. So we can see. The night charging. Now it's just a matter of uh, they were not using like a sport. He was holding this thing, so we can put his hand some somehow here. He should be able to. And of course, this thing will go like uh, below the faithful horse. And uh, got his hand here. We know that his arm will be mostly around here. And if his arm is mostly around here, his elbow is here, and his elbow is here, we should put something like that. So the head will be backward. We will not hear the head. This is how you. can adjust some things drawing and the uh, we'll pick another which might be this HB is around here, okay. I want to go with the B. Slow better. Oh, I broke the okay. Uh, this thing is here. 
I can give more expression with the, the shield even more. And of course, can put the the hand holding the the horse and the ship will be here. So be better. Give me a second. Um, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, so I managed to. So, okay. Okay, so here we have the shield, right? We have the shield here, and I put some more light so you can see better what I'm drawing. Here's the shield. Very important that you this looking. So when I give some right now we have to do the, the closest of the the, te the Templar night has some cape here. They used to have some cape. Shield. Put some Reference line here. Okay, so yeah. there we have some shear around here. Okay, shield, shield. The point of the shield must be here. Okay, so like that. Okay, um, of course, they use all this. This thing was like a metal, all metal. I will do the details later. This is just to remind me of the material. Judy is just popping up from here. That's his cape. Um, so here we have a demon wing. So this place, we have not have. Of course, it takes All right. Um, here we have some demon arm All right here. Maybe here, so. All right. So, something like that. Um, here we have the, the Templar.
select uh, this is horse background the horse can also maybe looking at the Okay, and then the details of this kind of stitches. The limit of the so thing is this thing must go. More in this way. We'll do this detail later on. Just yeah, just doing some of the things. All right. So more or less, we have a kind of a. Stabbing night. Couple of demons ears. Ah, demon. Demon, the demon neck, There's some muscles here, some muscles, All right? Um, those wings should be coming from this part of the back. So it might be some kind of weird. This thing must be like, yeah, like a third arm, second arm has become a wing itself. Okay, there it is, something that be kind of uh, like a bat wing. But being something like that. Kind of a but wing. Yeah, something like that. Alright. So with the details later, because of that is just Okay, so important thing is the thing here. Go this way, all right. Okay, so and uh, uh, Okay. So, uh, 
Uh, now we have the here the same Templar Knight, which is J. Which is the other one. Okay. And remember that we had here. Right. The other horse. So I want to put the, the horse size the same. The same distance, so I know here would be a horse eye. Another horse with a cross here. All right, the horse like this. Okay. So we have here horse I okay with the horse okay so The horse here, all right. So this dude also has the stitches here. And the cap. Um, this one is charging with his uh, right hand so I want to move the figure more to the right and also I have here some dimension of the heads so I can put this this dude here I can put it like this so now we need to throw here the the demon that will be double stab it <laughs> so it will be like but Okay, he will be the main, our main char character will be here. So, watching the thing here with his wings. And, uh, So this this guy is right-handed, so he must be attacking with the the lance from here. So he will hold it on his. You can see the lance goes this way. The lance go through the the arm of the knight. So it's important to see where I put the angle of the this lance. 
Okay. Should be like here, maybe. Yeah. Maybe like here. And I will draw the head later. I prefer to start with the All right, so doing the so I imagine that uh, this beauty is holding the His dude must be must be like here with his chest. His arm must go like this way and go like holding the with his hands. His hands should be like here. Right, so his arm should be like pressing against the the lance. Okay, so okay, and the figure must be like this. Yeah, because horse is going this way, so you must put the figure these places. And uh, I don't want to have the the helmet too far away. So oh, this is nice. How oh, uh, put this thing? Just working on volumes to see where I'm gonna place the arm. Okay, I have an idea. Let me see. Let me see how to rework this figure. Because I got to give the exact expression. Pick up one of my faster. This one will be draw faster. So um, I want to have this dude is kind of watching the thing from here. He has his. Saddle here, or saddle. This horse saddle around here, maybe with some so, a leather saddle. And of course, he will be more like. With his hands going this way, breathing against the horse. So his arm must be like holding the things this way. I want him to have a strong arm here. So I will put the the hand for 
Okay, that's what I want. Okay, it must be like this. And uh, the dance will go through his vest. And now, uh, here we have a demon hand. Okay, so here's the demon hand. Perfect. Now I want to draw the duties kind of All right, it is here. So let's see how the dance is pressing against the thing. Yep, perfect. So the, uh, we must match. I'm gonna put some things too much. Uh, okay. Now we need to put the legs, the legs of the Templar. The legs will be more or less given by the where the the knees are according to the saddle, and that will give give us some more dimensions. So. This dude have a cross here. Okay, there we are. And um, also has a cape. Cape here. He's looking this way back. Okay, so there we are. Um, this will be like this when you hit the page, you will see the, the horses coming to you. Okay. Now that, okay, the, the horse body, it would be like a rectangular thing, because it's a perspective to something here. It's moving, so the legs should be also kind of there. And you don't want to draw the the foot here that is flying the thing and the, this is the horse uh, cape. The horse has a cape. It's flying this way, and uh, it has a. It should have like around here, and just point out from the kind of a leg here, horse leg. 
plus this. Working on the gate. Okay. Escape here. One part of the horse back right here. Back here. And uh, 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 another horse here. So now have demon's hands here. Okay, so right. Okay, you can put this temporal leg even here if some more do this more and he has also some protective stuff here because they use kind of a Okay, yes, that thing was just flying all around together with the cape. Cape that was like flying behind. Something like that. Uh, I don't know. So <laughs> now lies the main problem of this thing. We have a a Templar, we have a horse, etc. But can we put here the the main character that we want to put? I mean, not, not necessary because he was there. The I can have to see if I can. Wanted to put it in this place originally, so I will have to make some space here. So he is like behind watching the whole thing, he should be around here. Like his angel wings, maybe around there. I have to see how. The thing fits in. Well, that's another plane, so I can rework it. But I know that that space here has remained free. So You will be here, okay. You will be with his wings, and your wings will be like more there. Maybe I want to put it on more expression of like watching with his hands on the ground, something like that. So, give more expression, yeah, perfect. So this amazing cape that this guy is holding, I'm gonna put him some like flying 
this way. So it's not just flowing. If I'm him, like, because the air will lift the, the cape. The air will lift all these capes. This cape will be lifted by the air. So this night capes will be like flying slow. Okay, so we almost have our two horses, Templars, and the, the demon. This demon wing. So now I need to draw the okay. Okay. Let's see this thing. Okay. Like this. Like this. Right on the, the thing. So one, I made one, two, three. So it's one, two, and we can put three here and put this thing like this. And maybe we can have the leg of the horses. Okay, so one more thing here. All right. Now I have to draw this Templar right in the, the horse. So what will be the dimension of this? I will just put the saddle, the saddle, the knee of the Templar Knight here. Dude, we uh, okay. Cap is flying this right on. I want to give some expression. Kind of lifted on his legs. Of course, he's riding a horse on the. Let's put his head here. I don't want the head to be too close to the edge of the page, so I will move this thing backward. Backward, let's use my friend, the monster friend. Yeah, I'm gonna move this thing backward here. Okay, and uh, I want his hand here, like, yeah. Great. 
for his hands will be like the uh, his cap just flowing the wind like that. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Um, it has this kind of flowing Exerts too much power because the same inertia of the horse will leave the, the demon once it's on the lance. And of course, we have here the shield. Uh, dude will have his hands here controlling the horse. Um, the beautiful shape of horse head aligned with the, the side of the knight must be here. Fuck, sorry. Stay here. So this one is. Brave horse will be like here. Oh, brand drawing two pages plus this is the brand drawing splash pages. Flying by the so should be like yeah the this. The 
was he must be with the two legs here. So we will not see most of the horse head because Flying demon. Night flying demon. So let's work a little bit on the thing. Demon has this kind of weird. Okay, there we are. Here we have the demon's face, the shadow. Okay. Now, what's where I want to put the other arm? Okay, the other arm should be like around here. Uh. 
see if I can show you the page, how the page is taking form. Okay. Have here the knight stabbing the demon, the two horses coming from the page, and our main character here watching, watching straight to the the reader. This thing you know, on digital I will put a lot more of details, of course. Now I have to make all the penciling. This is just <laughs> sketching. I'll do the penciling of all of this. And um, okay, and now as we can see, I had a lot of space here for this uh, final for the final file. You can build anything, even if you're not accustomed to draw. Yeah, I wasn't. I've been not drawing Temporal Night since I was a kid. And uh, so I had to look some references. But if you think the page in 3D, you can build anything. Of course, we have here the Demon Wing. The moon wing is here, so mm -hmm. these are some special erasers from Muppet that uh, are very good for uh, erasing on tracing paper because and tracing paper is far more resistant for drawing and erasing and sketching and um, the pencil flies on the tracing paper more than on a rugged sheet of paper. Also inking is far better on, on a with rotating ink on a This type of paper. Yeah. Here we have the there. and the other one, and of course, will be like Here, this is the demon wing. Uh, around here, we have the Thank you. 
so so on Over there, he takes it on. All right, I have the cape here flying. Okay, so. Let's almost build it. The demon has a tail. The demon tail at the we can play with the tail. This is mostly how I build comic book pages. So I see the process. And then in color, you will have here some white, red, the red crosses, white, red, the red demon. So it's white, red, white, red, white, red, blue sky, blue here, blue here. So cold colors here, um, hotter color here, red here. So the, we have a lot of movement. Um, so here I got the ball. The other army. We will do this later. Okay, now I have to do some details to this hand. He's riding the, the horse with the left hand as it should on the uh, 
We are looking now the back of the horse head of the knight. Here. I have, some, I have to look some reference of the, the shield of the because it was a um, a chain chain vest. So uh, this is all a chain chain. Movement give some movement here. You can be moving with little things like uh, the same horse. Something I remember when I was riding horses is that you can see your horse eye. You can see your horse eye because the horse is looking at you when you're riding also. He just can look backward and looking at you. So I have to put here the horse eye also there. And it will be there. And he will have here the saddle. With the iron snaps on the, the saddle, to be a leather, leather and wood saddle. No, what kind of material they were using? But, uh, just like that's, that's, okay, saddle that was kind of this shape. Okay, and from. From here, must go the cross goes out of the page and then goes back again to the horse nose. Okay, there. No line here. Maybe here I can put some, as I have more space here, maybe I can put half the heads of, of a temporal knight. Yeah, we work there. I'm thinking that having here the
the Templar holding the the lance and the because the dude is just okay the dude is looking them so we can put this like this so we have here our our main character watching with surprise all that happened so the little detail of this figure that is here it will be like enlarged here or it could not maybe it could not be even here because the perspective will make force them that to be here but i can put it there so that will fix some kind of things um here's the leg of the night Riding the horse, something like that. It would be like there, I think. It could be like even there. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah, that could be more powerful image. I don't need that goes too much into the into the other page. Okay. So again more of that space. Here and have the and do this here, pam, 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 pam. yeah, more, more like here, not so low. Just trying to pop up the thing, yeah. So large, too much head here. Too much head. Helmet too large. There. Be more like this. Yeah. Even I can put it like watching backward. Maybe I can put it. Yeah, watching backward would be better. That would be better. Like the duty is trying to look if the, the other guy is safe. So it would be like here. Yeah, better, better this way. That's it. With the cape flying. Okay, so 
and uh, we'll have something like that. We have his okay. uh, here is the floor. I think can be go this way. So, uh, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Uh, the view will be here. Like watching all these things. His angel wings. Course. Um, why not putting some big horse head here with the eye of the horse? Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Horse, horse head here. It will be a horse head, yeah. All right, so ah, that's how the the page took form, All right? Is the horse eye, of course. Be here. So, um, when you put the thing The thing will be like so for a first sketch. I have fixed it. I have given the objective that I wanted to see what I want to put things here. So Let's see if I can put something. And when you when you fold the page, okay, even more distance there, um, the reflection of the light. Give me a second. So, I want to show you what I wanted to do. So. When you fold the page, when you fold the page like this, one thing I like to do is working with the folded pages, so the same. 3D effect increases. You see the, the head horses, how the two knights comes together, more crowded. The demon is stabbed there. Even this one is closer. So this is OK. 
Okay. Thank you and stay in touch. See you around. Thank you.